Good evening, Tug Addicts. I hope everybody had a safe New Year's Eve. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot this year when it came to the size of the party. Just a few people over and sitting by the fire and lit off the pallets, ate a little too much. And uh, I can see why people gained so much weight over the holidays. Uh, we, my wife and I and a, a friend, Mike, went today for a few minutes and we pitched and caught nine trout. Uh, seemed to do much better in, in where the wind was blowing in the dirty water than we did when we moved to uh, up in the creeks where uh, it seemed to be calmer and clearer. Uh, we caught fish, but but not the size fish we like to be keeping. Uh, I was kind of looking over things the other day, and this thing came up. We have uh, about shad boning. I was looking over some old shad boning video that I have posted, and uh, there's a guy, and I don't take the trolls down. I leave it all up. You know, you, you're you not going to eliminate those kind of people. And and I don't want to look like I got a perfect record out there. If you don't like me, thumbs down. If you like me, thumbs up. But uh, this guy kind of laughed, ha ha, that I cleaned a shad in the ninth grade. Like that wasn't possible. Well, I did. And like I said before, I even did it for a science project. Uh, my brother was cleaning flounder, filleting flounder as young as five years old. Uh, but that's the each his own on what they think. But what this is going to be a little talk. We got a shad trolling coming up here in February. I just got off the phone with my buddy, John Adams. And, uh, he's telling me he, the grandkids, he took the grandkids, you know, I always tell you, you don't take the kids fishing and you can't catch them on the couch. Well, he took the grandkids yesterday and, uh, they pitched plastics and, and caught a, a bunch of reds. I think it was 15 reds. He told me they caught, which is great. I know the kids really enjoyed it, especially when it's not on live shrimp and artificial. He said, uh, I won't mention your name. Someone pulled up next to him using live bait and they only caught a couple and they were catching all this on artificial, which uh, to me is a lot more fun. Uh, in February, I will start, I'll have some other things too on the uh, shad darts, the different things that we use here in Savannah, Georgia later on. It's what we troll with. Uh, we'll probably end up shooting some video too in February where John and I'll be going out and hopefully trolling for shad in the Geechee River. Maybe John will give me the inside of the boat. That's an inside joke. We'll explain it later. Uh, but we have a great time. We go all the time. Uh, I'm going to check with my, my brother, my nephew, and see when they're going to be coming up. Usually the, the shad start to run in, in Florida around January and see when they'll get them commercially. And we'll be shooting another shad video. The video I want to redo, I want to do with naturally a better camera than we did years ago and be a lot slower, maybe even do some of it in slow motion. There's a lot to it, but if you get a bone shad and you brawl it, it's it's excellent eating. And if you take the shad row, which is very good either with or without stuffing it in the shad, uh, it, it's an excellent fish to eat. Uh, the, and I had uh, a comment, I think, from – I don't have them here right now. Uh, well, I thought I had them. From uh, – Let's see who is it from here. Oh, uh, Thomas Barish, I think it is. Says, hi, Captain. I found you years ago looking for videos on how to clean shad to get boneless fillets. It's so, said, difficult. Can you update videos in boneless shad fillets? I'm sure you'll get a lot of views on that. Uh, thanks and a happy new year. Thanks to you, Thomas. I appreciate you, you giving us a comment on that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try to do more of those in the future uh, with the shad. And maybe even I would like people to don't get them and try to fillet them. There's an old recipes where they took and they, they cooked them whole and put them in the oven, basically cooked them till the bones dissolved, and then they ate them. And there's a, a lot of history. There's a book that I read on someone else. I'll see if I can pull that comment up for later about how big of a business it was for President Washington and the shad was so plentiful back then and uh, what they did with them and how they sold them and how much money was made from the shad industry alone. Uh, let's see what else would go on. Oh, on the fishing today with us, uh, it seemed like the dirtier water produced better than the clear water. Go figure. I don't know whether we're just sitting in that spot or what, uh, but we, we did okay. Uh, for the nostalgia tip tonight, I pull up. Uh, do you remember when soda pop machines that dispensed the glass bottles, coffee shops 
with table side jukeboxes, blackjack, clove, and terry tea berry chewing gum. Milk bottles were delivered with cardboard stoppers. I can remember the milk bottles from Annette's Dairy here in Savannah. Uh, also, uh, newsreel before your movie video, uh, your movie uh, in the theater. That was a the old nostalgia tip. Well, it all goes to show, like I in the show and saying, uh, don't don't uh, sit on the couch, take the kid fishing. Well, I'm glad to see that John took the grandkids fishing and did just that and did well yesterday. I hope you guys will uh, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell and subscribe button, and uh, don't forget to go to our website with. Uh, tools of the trade and our influencer page and please leave comments and questions that helps us give us material to talk about and answer people's questions. And uh, I'll also be showing you in the future when we get into the shad boat videos that you'll be needing two knives in order to bone a shad and how my dad found out how to do that. Kind of like the light bulb went off in his head one night and we'll do that later on as well. And, and you can find all those knives on our website that we use in these videos to clad of the shad bed cleaning, excuse me. Uh, but don't forget, take a kid fishing and you can't catch him on the couch. Have a good evening. Tight lines to you.